For today's Petra experience, I'm going to be riding a camel and a donkey. This would be the camel. Okay, here's my guide. Go. <laughs> Camels are my favorite animals to ride. They're very friendly because they're always smiling. And this is definitely the way to see Petra. If you're kind of lazy. Okay, this is the scary part, getting off the camel. Let's just sit, yeah. Okay, what do I do? Just hold on, I guess. <laughs> just hold on? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, a piece of cake. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> uh, this is the donkey that I will be riding on the way up. It's Hello, donkey. donkey. Oh, it's a mule. mule. Mr. Ah. Mule. What's the difference between a mule and a donkey? The father of the mule, it's a horse. Ah. The father horse, the father donkey. Mixed, too powerful. Ah. Okay, getting on the donkey. I didn't see anything anyway. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <Should> he move? <laughs> Had to very much time on a mic. Easy. The front. Okay. What's your name, boy? Solomon. Ooh, this looks a little sketchy. We're going to be heading up a mule stairmaster. Okay. Ah. Oh, he's doing a good job. Ooh. Ooh. This is how the people in the old days, like Jesus' day, used to travel. It's definitely better than taking a four wheel drive up here. Well, I guess it is a kind of a four-wheel drive. Got a little roadside store. When you coming back? I'm not sure yet. Okay, my name is Rosa. Think about Hala. Okay, I'll think about it. I will wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> The donkey in front of me's got bad gas. Keeps farting. My mule's going for the pass. Canadians. We betcha. <laughs> yeah, I got a pretty fast mule. These things have some spunk. All right, we just passed the last guy. Uh, I am the first mule. There's a perfectly good set of stairs right over there. But my donkey or mule insists on riding up these kind of broken stairs. I am not sure why. Yeah. Maybe the stairs are meant for going down. Well, thank you very much and see you later. Wow, that was a long hill to take a mule up. <sighs> Those monks must really like their privacy. I guess they don't like door-to-door -door salesmen. So we're on our, I'm on my way to the top where the monastery is. Apparently I have to walk the rest of the way. I'm actually very happy to be walking for this part because, holy crap, look at that valley. I would not want my donkey falling down there. Oh, get it to the monastery. I think I'm going to go check out the inside. I'm not going to go in because it's a little hard to get up here. Got a little restaurant at the top here. I might go in and have a tea. Wow, they accept MasterCard. It really is accepted all over the world. I'm having lunch and some tea at this restaurant that I just stopped at, and um, I bought myself this cute little rabbit because I miss my rabbit jack. There's a herd of goats by the monastery, and this goat's got some cute little kids. I think it's their lunch time. What's your name? Name Saud. Ah, is this your herd? Yeah. Cool. Can we? Can I pet one of the little baby goats? Yeah. Okay, I'm going for a walk with the herd. Ah, little tiny goat. I'm gonna pet him. Yeah. Oh, 
carved into the stone is a picture of a camel and a man. We got a cave here. Oh. What's that? Oh, okay. Kids are getting ahead of the pack. New friends giving me a little tour of the area. Pretty nice back here. Good view. There is some pretty cool hiking terrain in this area. Wow, check out this valley. What is that? Spring water. Spring water. Oh, way down there. Okay. That man told me that he was 73 years old. Wow, he's in pretty good shape. Small pieces of pottery are all over the ground. There's so many cool looking rocks. I'm going to take this piece home as a souvenir of my time at Petra. Kind of got three different colors in it. You can see cool patterns on some of the pieces. Wow, this piece has got some really cool patterns in it. I might have to take it as well. The people in this area are very friendly. In fact, sometimes a little too friendly because they invite you for tea and they don't want you to leave. In fact, our cab driver told us that if you stopped at a Bedouin camp, they'd probably slaughter sheep and have a feast for you. <laughs> They're very nice people. wonder if there's a flushing toilet anywhere around here. Oh my god, I just ran into Bernard. How you doing? Did you just get here? Yes, um, I went to the a part of Petra with magnificent uh, colors and um, um, tombs. Must be dinner time. <laughs> Petra's a pretty big place. That's kind of amazing that I ran into my friend here. I was kind of wondering where he was. I climbed up this rock in the middle of nowhere and kind of scared the crap out of myself. Look at the view. <laughs> my friend is way over there. I climbed all the way along here and up. Whoa, that is a long way down. Yeah. Mm. Hello. I can hear a bit of an echo. Cool. Oh, yeah. Ooh, for necklace shopping. Cool. She told us that it's way cheaper if we're here without a guide because the guide takes like a 50% commission. I'm deciding which necklace I want. It's very nice Bedouin, yeah. That's a Bedouin necklace? Oh, I like this one too. Very nice. Magnifique! <laughs> wow, these are a lot of steps and they're tiring. Now I know how the mule felt. And that poor guy had to carry me on his back. I'm very glad that he didn't ask me to return the favor because I don't think I could carry a mule down these steps. Um. Uh, the icky part about going down is that there's little donkey dumplings everywhere. That mule is either having a snack or he was saying something bad and now he has his mouth covered. Petra day two is a cut. I'll see you in Wadi Rum. Okay, go ahead. Uh, hi, Canada. You are welcome in Jordan, and we are Bedouin from the mountains. We like Canadian people. <laughs> <laughs>